Our army in Greece is uh, recovering from the trip from Rome, and we're going to prepare an attack against Macedonia. Now, one of the things I wanted to look at was possibly ooh, Armenian Civil War ended. One of the things I wanted to look at was possibly uh, checking out some of our unloyal units, our unloyal men, such as Gaius, Fabrius, Lucinus. Seeing if we can bribe them, but we cannot. We cannot afford the bribe necessary, apparently. I wanted to get some of their loyalty back up to the state. Let's see how many men this... This man has 20 units that are loyal to him. So it would be very difficult for him to uh, give up any control, apparently. I'm wondering if they were ships, mainly. Yeah, quite a few ships here. Yeah, so most of the units loyal to this man are uh, our fleet. So. That's unfortunate. I think he is aging. Yeah, he's 62. So, at this rate, we shouldn't have too much to worry, as long as we don't appoint him in, in command anymore. Right. Increased taxation in Kenya. So the locals aren't too happy about that. But more money is coming in. Look at that. 7.05 monthly. That's excellent. With a religious leader, not a civic leader. We can build province improvements. Also, uh, some of you guys wanted to see the ledger. Here's the ledger. We can uh, sort through our uh, countries, country overviews, military overviews, economic overviews, etc. So a lot of our money is coming through tributes. That's cool. Didn't play around with this too much. It's not the best uh, ledger. Here we can build. So we can sort it by tax, taxes. So if we wanted to, say, build a a form in Tarentum, or maybe we can sort it by. Let's see here. Oh yeah, we have stockades we can build. I think I was going to build one in um, Benonia. I think that'd be a good idea. Let's go ahead and do that. Yes. Excellent. chance of a horde is pretty large over here. We'll have to keep an eye on this area in case a horde sprouts up. And our omen's about to wear off, which is unfortunate, so maybe we could get that omen again. I want a fresh omen for this battle. Almost at the supply limit for this province, which is 37. Macedonia is so much smaller. 
So yeah, we will be taking in manpower hits in Macedonia. A friend isn't acting like a friend. Gnaeus Cornelius Blasio has noticed that a friend of his is spending a bit of time with a rival of his. Uh, he takes the old-fashioned view that friends don't do that, so it looks like it is time to lose a friend. Ah, that's too bad. Oh, it's Apocalypse. Never mind. <laughs> Alright. Alright, Omen time. Success. Alright. So these men are pretty much fully reinforced. We're going to send them into Macedonia. And so begins the war against Macedon. Oh, we have no Cassus Belli, really. Then why would you give us a mission? Alright. Well, no Cassus Belli, or not. We will declare war on Macedonia. Stability dropped. <clears throat> Looks like they're retreating. Let's get our fleet out. And see if we can catch their fleet in Macedonia. Governor is considering independence. The following disloyal governors are considered considering declaring independence. Gaius, Claudius, Canaan. Really? <clears throat> this man. Huh. Due to his current ambition, loyal units, etc. Alright, we'll grant him a couple titles to hold him off for now. And focus on the war. Looks like the Macedonians are retreating to Thessaly. Oh wow, we just utterly caught them by surprise, killed 5,000 of their troops, excellent. And we're going to assault their city as well, hopefully do something, come on guys. There you go, they took the city, excellent. So we took control of Macedonia, we gained some wealth, we gained a core on Macedonia, which is even better. Uh, let's see here. They want us to take Euboea. Uh, Euboea. There are factions in the Senate that believe to win this war we need to take Euboea. If we do not want to lose their support, we must take it immediately. The island's out there. Okay. He wants to take it in about five years, or the religious faction will lose senators. Uh, if we do take it, we'll gain five senators. I believe we'll catch their ships off guard here. Oh yeah, we're about to catch their fleet. We caught the fleet. And the Macedonians are marching on in right now, and... Our morale is pretty low, so hopefully we're able to fight them off. Oh yeah, they're losing quite a few men. Look at that, 4,000 of them. Slain, we're going to march on Thessaly. I thought that the Macedonians would be fighting uh, a little better than they are, but apparently not. That's fine. We were looking for a challenge, but we didn't find it here. I don't want to get too cocky though, but for the most part it's true. <laughs> Spurius Carvilius Maximus has died. Alright. Oh, they caught us this time. It's going to be a close battle. Armies reform there. 
really close battle here, guys. Yeah. We lost that battle. I'd like to take Vesely because then the ships would come out once again. We wiped out some of their troops there. They're losing a lot of men. We won another battle against the Macedonians. This time we're going to hold. We're going to hold here in Macedonia. And <clears throat> recover some troops while they go marching around. We are taking some attrition here though, so we'll never really get above 22,000, but I want that morale back. Vesely's supply condition isn't any better. Alright, we have a mercantile power in our set. Okay, Lentulius is in as, uh, he's our consul yet again. Okay. Sort of triumph. No, we'll pass. All right, we're going to march on Thessaly here. <coughs> Macedonians are retreating. That's bad. Uh, they keep catching us in these hills here. There we go. Starting to fight back. But <laughs> not well enough. We lost 8,000 men trying to take the hills there. That's crazy. Twenty-nine units, they march down there, huh? If I move to Epirus, they'll gain troops a little faster. I'm wondering if we sue for peace and demand tribute, yeah, they won't they won't give anything up right now. Alright, so we're gonna take this fleet over here. We're gonna go pick up the army in Liguria. And uh or we can pick up this smaller... Yeah, we'll pick up the army in Liguria. We'll pick up this army here in Sardinia. Transport to Liguria. Pick up the Ligurian army. And use it to flank the Macedonians here. Vengeance! So, uh, Siege of Mastodon, they, they, they held out, which is good. Hopefully we could force them back here. They have a large army here, though. Who's this man? Marshal 8. I don't know if we can do enough damage to them. Their morale is pretty wretched compared to ours though. So we won another battle. Oh yes, and we have managed to capture uh, Akinonios Eretid in command of the first Stratos. That was their 
uh, eight uh, martial leader, and we can ransom him or execute him. Uh, let's see here. So go to characters, imprisoned men. There he is. He's imprisoned. Execute him, we get some tyranny. And the military faction goes down. Well, we're gonna just hold on to him. And actually, you know what? We're gonna pursue this army, this leaderless army, into Thessaly. hopefully um, beat them in the mountains yet again. Armies on the march always take uh, attrition uh, in an area when they just and when they're not moving in an area, they actually boost the amount of supply that they can receive. That was a pretty bad roll, but we won. And now we can assault Thessaly, hopefully take it. We almost took it, very close. Alright, so let's invoke one more favor. Yes, exactly what we needed. And we should offer sacrifice to the gods, which we did. Alright, and there's a decision available apparently. Oh uh, yes, we don't want to become that republic. Not yet. Alright. So you can see this army is very small now. We lost a lot of uh, men due to attrition. And just the fighting, constantly fighting. So we're going to assault and take it right now. Excellent. So the supply limit here is pretty wretched. We'll move to Epirus real quick. And we're going to move... Uh, we're going to move both these armies right now. We're going to need them. It's going to take months to replenish the first legion. And we just don't have that time. Okay, so we'll move to, I think we'll drop these men in Sparta, or Euboea, yeah, and we should have, yeah, they still have 18 ships, that's right, well we can try to sue for peace now, actually, uh, demand tributes, Thessaly, yeah, but the Senate wants us to take, uh, so, uh, if we leave this army here, I'm afraid they might get wiped, but, well, we'll see. We'll see if they hold out or not. They do have uh, the benefit of good ground. Yeah. Accused of adultery, Lucius Cornelius Lentulus is good friends with the fellow senator's wife, in fact so much that her husband is getting a little concerned about this. In fact, he is suggesting that you stop spending time with other people's wives. Bow, bow, wow. Huh. Will you either become rivals? No longer friends. Wasn't me. Well, that's what happens. <clears throat> Got some troops back, a little bit of morale. He has seven loyal units now. Is there anybody we can put in command? No. Nobody as good as Quintus here. Oh, and there's barbarians up in Paoni. So yeah, we are taking some casualties here. A little bit of a beating. And we have rebels in Syracuse. Yep. How'd I know that would, 
would happen. Well, we'll send uh, our armies there. Assassination. Okay. We'll have him take that chance. We won the battle, but just barely in Thessaly. And over here, killing the rebels. So the rebels were put down. Excellent. Merge that army together and take it to Thessaly. Hopefully, we could catch these ships, but we'll see. Barbarian revolt, uh, Benonia. Oh dear. So, another barbarian revolt. Rather small. I'm glad I didn't take this army away. So we'll have them follow them into Paleo Veneti. Takes so much attrition, it's crazy. So we captured some more slaves, excellent. And the Macedonians are coming at us yet again. I'm wondering if we, well, we'll have them stay here and this fleet will go fight the Macedonians. Hmm. So they went into port there, interesting. Interesting move. And the mass dunes are coming again to Thessaly. I'm wondering if I can just assault. No, it's not going to break them. Man, those Macedonians, they hurt. But we won <laughs> at a huge price. Hmm. Oh man, look at that. The army just popped up in Liguria. Yep. Yep, so the Barbarians are coming. Man, they really don't like... Uh, really don't like our uh, border provinces. They keep attacking and attacking and attacking. So if these men can just hold, we'll be able to... Well, they take that 5% attrition because they're in Thessaly. Yeah. If I take one more province, then I think I, I can get away with taking Thessaly, perhaps. Except I don't have a core in Thessaly. I have a core only on Macedonia. Hmm. Well, the Macedonians, they're fighting fighting pretty well. Pretty strong. Uh, we're losing a lot of manpower just trying to hold on to small provinces here and there. Career boost. Quintus Lutatius Catullus has really made some career advances lately, but some enemies as well, yes. They're everywhere.
What? They completely wiped out our legion there? Oh, wow. Wow. That is regrettable. <laughs> oh, man. They just wiped out our legion. Okay. I didn't expect them to wipe out the entire army. Okay. We're going to have to recruit a new army here. An entire army. Of men. That happened really fast, yeah? Alright, so we'll start recruiting the army. That was crazy. And we've reached kind of a, a stalemate here with the Macedonians. Alright. I'm gonna have uh, Blasio here follow those. All of those barbarians into the wilderness, hopefully finish them off. There's 33 units here, they should have quite a few men there, but they do not. If I pull back to Macedonia, supply limit 22, supply limit 26. Um, the Senate doesn't really favor peace at this time. If I just demanded Thessaly though, let's see what happens. They rejected. Yeah. So we'll have them holding Thessaly yet again. They're moving to Argolis. And they won the battle in Sisipine. Or uh, Sisipine, we'll have them move to Alabroge. The new army is starting to come together. Have them meet up in Rome. Hmm. Hopefully this army doesn't get wiped as well. Gosh, he's, he's gaining a lot of units here. Quintus Mamilius Vitulus. He's a tactician. Okay. We have to keep following that barbarian horde because it's large. Yeah, I just don't see the Romans. <laughs> they just lost almost everybody on the on the in that battle, so I don't see us uh, winning if we continue to fight there. Huh. We'll have to move to Epirus. <clears throat> we couldn't win uh, a decisive battle, period. We won like several battles, but we're just losing so many men. 30,000, 31,000, not including the ones that reinforce. Jesus. Zoom, cut them down. They're retreating again. Now we should be able to finish those guys off.
Yeah, they're gonna take Thessaly and Macedonia back. <laughs> Damn it. Still surprised they wiped out that entire other army. Just wiped it right out. Bithynia? Oh, hell no. I don't even know we're at war with Bithynia. Alright, so he finally wipes out the horde. That's good. And we got a lot of slaves out of that. Now I'm wondering if I made an alliance with anybody up here. If they would uh if they would join us. I don't think I can make an alliance. Yeah, there's too much opposition in the Senate. Lots of opposition in the Senate. Hmm. Yeah, they took Thessaly. It's bastards. Well, if they take Thessaly, then we'll move our army back into Thessaly and retake it. Lack of money. Hmm. Alright. I haven't built it. Yeah, their war exhaustion has been increasing. What's ours at? Our war exhaustion is really high. It's getting very, very high. It's time for another omen here. Uh, this time it failed. Oh man, that's bad. Not looking good for the Romans. Built several more Principe. And a couple more archers as well. We're going to have them start marching right now. Come on, guys, hold up. Thank you. Calvary would be really, really good against Macedonia. That's for sure. So we assaulted and took Thessaly back. Now we'll move to Uboa. And we have some more troops here. Okay, so how many men is that going to be? It's going to be about 11,000, so I'm just going to leave. Twelve units there to pick up that fleet. This other fleet will come over here. The war raging in the sense knows some of our units lack commanders. Okay. No point man. And they want this man in charge. Or he will gain populist conviction. Alright. That's fine. All right, the new console. Excellent. So 
some ambitions were fulfilled. I think we're going to march on this army in Macedonia and catch them while their morale is wretchedly low. Hopefully this army, this navy here, can defeat their navy at sea. Certainly they don't have... Oh, another Marshal 8. <laughs> That's why they have another Marshal Aid commander here. Jesus. They are just constantly depleting our forces, just winning. some ships there, but so are they. Come on, guys. Seriously? They should be taking a lot of losses here. I'm gonna have to build some new triremes. take some losses. <clears throat> so they're retreating to Pergamon, so we should be able to catch them there. Let's see. And I'm going to super peace real quick and see if we can manage any kind of tribute like this later. And they accepted. <laughs> they didn't have to accept, but they did. Okay. I think they were afraid they were, going to, they were about to lose their entire fleet, and we could keep this up at a, for a very long time. Alright, so Thessaly's been taken, and our army here. I'm going to move them into Thessaly. Uh, Thessaly has horses, by the way. That's kind of why I wanted to go to war there. So... That's excellent. And we failed to complete that mission, so the mercantile faction lost senators. And holy cow, we have a lot of populace right now. What have I been ignoring? War exhaustion. Mm -hmm. And a lack of buildings. Okay. And uh, the ducks in Corsica. Lucius Junius Pullus. Let's see here. We might have a civil war on our hands, guys. Mm -hmm. We might just have a civil war on our hands here. Let's see. Okay, if I point somebody else, let's see here. Who wants to be ducks? Nobody? Who's loyal that wants to be a ducks? This man here. Alright, we pointed him as ducks. And uh, we have a new mission, take control of Macedonia. Once again, another Macedonian mission. We have a... We have a core on Macedonia, though, so I'm going to have this province here trade with Puglia, and we're going to start uh, recruiting cavalry as soon as that trade route is complete. And we have more barbarians in Liguria, so we'll send our legion over there, <clears throat> park our boats in Thessaly. Oops, let's see. <clears throat> I have 12 ships available. How many men here? Quite a few. 
Okay, so we'll get rid of one archer unit. And then this unit can go up onto the boats, and we'll take this unit to Liguria. Alright. Okay guys, so we won the war against Macedonia. We were able to secure Thessaly from them. Uh, we finally have horses, so now our armies, we're going to start completing our armies with horses. Uh, let's see here. 59 troops. Uh, I'm going to start rounding out our armies with horses throughout the realm. And we have this large army here marching to Thessaly. It's going to be split up, uh, shrunken a little bit. I think we're going to leave, uh, let's see here, 12 units here in Thessaly. And that should be enough for Thessaly. I'm thinking it's such a small province. And we should run into, yeah, here we can start building these infantry here, which is excellent. So a few horse archers, a few equite, yeah. So we'll build four units, we'll just have them build six units of equite. And over time, over time we can start peeling those units off and using them elsewhere. And we need to reform the garrison units here. Now I'm wondering... Nationalism, different culture group. Why are they so low? Stability and merciful. Oh, the governor is merciful. Excellent. He's a very good governor then. And we also have a free government position. One of our censors, yeah. Okay, who wants to be a censor? This man wants to be legate. We can do that for him. He's not that bad of a leader. But surely one of these men wants to become censor? Think of this man here. Alright, so he's now censor. And... This man here, we're gonna have him give up control. I'm sure he has plenty of loyal units now. Twelve, yeah. So he has twelve loyal units. We'll appoint this man, uh, Numerius Fabius Pictor, as our new legate. Excellent. Alright. Order dispute. Uh, we need to settle all boundary issues once and for all. We, not, we cannot have one of our core provinces controlled by our despicable neighbor. It makes us look weak. Yeah. Yep, so Macedonia has one of our core provinces. We have a core on it, so we consider it to be ours. Um, <laughs> they very much so consider it to be theirs as well. We're going to colonize here, and we need to start pushing out and colonizing there as well. I want to clean up Liguria real quick before we do all this. sit in Gallia Cisalpina. Alright guys, well we started colonizing here in Palio Veneti. We have to get rid of one barbarian power here in Gallia Cisalpina before we can colonize there, but we'll do that soon enough. I know I was kind of uh, ignoring the civilization rating while we are fighting against Macedonia. Um, but we'll go ahead and fix that for later. That's uh, six units. Let's see here. They bring a new five. Uh, 
five, three, that's eight, and then four units of cavalry for them. Yeah. And the rest can get on the boat. Have them get on the boat and head to Rome. Hopefully, they wipe them out up in Gallia Cisapina. Yep, they wiped them all out. Good job, guys. More slaves for Rome. And the Greatest Civilization's been bouncing back pretty fast. Happy with that. Old Wounds becomes too much. Cassia, too, she has died. Uh, she was the victim of an assassination attempt by one of our former consuls. And as you guys can see, uh, Lucius Junius Polus. He's a very popular populist faction leader, this man here. He's incredibly charisma, uh, charismatic, sorry. And that's going to hurt us, I think. Let's see here. I think. Let's hold a triumph. Or Lentulus here. I uh, will do it for this man. Yeah. Gotta have those triumphs. And also, if you notice on your military faction, there's a 5% uh, bonus to military faction uh, traction due to a claim on foreign provinces. Alright. I'm thinking about imprisoning their faction leader here. Won't happen. Huh. Yeah, we're gonna imprison him. And the next guy... <laughs> he's not that bad. Ah, he fled to Nervi. Okay. We got a little bit of tyranny there, look. Uh, first time. So the maximum character loyalty throughout the realm is reduced by two. But we chased him off. And we need a new leader over here. points. We don't have a lot of uh, legged candidates available anymore. We have a lot of armies, but we'll choose that man. Uh, the other benefit of having a military republic is you get a lot of consuls, therefore you get a lot of uh, new legates. Um, Four-year terms, you get fewer consuls because they're only coming around every four years, and over time they'll be dying. So, over time, your available pool of legates will decrease. Alright. Calvary, look at that. That's fun right there. Yep. Uh, we successfully created a new colon colony in Palio Veneti. Excellent. So, the colonization has begun there. I'm going to move our army into Palivanetti, and we're going to need a third army for Gallia Cislapina. 
as soon as that's populated. I think we'll move some men up to Liguria for that. Just a smaller army for there. break off. Gosh, look at that guys. Our manpower is so low right now. Okay, so we're gonna put uh, four Principe and three archers into this unit here. Send them to Syracuse. And then another four Principe and three archers. Oops. They'll load up on the ships and they'll head to Sardinia. And then we'll be picking up the cavalry over here shortly as soon as they're all completed and distributing amongst our armies. No, I don't want them on the ship. Nope. Stay. Don't want them on the ship. I want them to stay in Sardinia. Alright. And here comes a horde. Of course. I think I'll just have I'm gonna have these men join uh, the second second legion. And we'll merge the fleet. And they want a new commander. Uh, Medius Attilius Regulus is a popular important member. He wants command of the first legion. Well, let's look at the loyalty of these two men. Regulus. And this man. I'll just say go for it. Why not? And let's invoke. That's going to suck. Alright, so this unit's going to form up there. This unit's going to get the barbarians out of Gallia Cisalpina. And your populator upsets a colleague. Uh, I don't want more rivals in Rome. It's already so many. Okay, guys. Well, I'm going to call this a Let's Play. Um, we've had uh, a lot of success but it's time for Rome to wind down a little bit and uh, recover from all the wars we've been involved in. And let's see here, we've been playing for almost 25 years into the game now, and we fought three large wars, and our manpower has uh, suffered as an effect. So we'll recover, we'll uh, get cavalry uh, distributed throughout our legions around Rome, and we'll colonize Gallia Cisalpina and just continue expanding Rome, Rome's borders out into the wilderness and beyond. I'm Ryan House, thank you for joining me. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next Let's Play.